well this will be the first of the many videos I will make about my road to self-discovery and bettering and making myself a happier person. It pretty much all came to a head after this last relationship was over two years, but I figured it was serious and everything, but apparently she didn't. I think that's her loss. I think I'm awesome. Plus, apparently, I look like Christopher Eccleston. So I'm the doctor! So, um, yeah. So the past two weeks have been interesting. I got to shoot guns for the first time. They were all 22 caliber, but I was still excited. So I always wanted to shoot a six shooter. So it was a six shooter, 22, a bolt action 22, and then a regular rifle 22 caliber. That was so much fun. Got to go out to the middle of nowhere in West Windsor, which is in Maryland. It's a it's a pretty quiet area, certain parts. I was in the farm area. I also helped my friend pick pears off his tree, trying to get stung by bees because I'm slightly allergic. Um, basically, I diagnosed with Asperger's, and it's just, as I said in the other videos, it's, it's, it's definitely an experience that I shouldn't be taking lightly, that people shouldn't be looking at me like they're weird. I guess having this has actually really helped me take a look at things. I just really need to analyze my life. I need to try to make myself happy. Like, happy with myself, and truly happy with myself, because sadly I'm not. I, I'm in relationships because, well, I'm afraid of being alone, and I'm not happy, unless I'm in the company of a, a woman. Which is weird, but that's how I am. I'm not really good at expressing my emotions, or expressing myself, so I'm doing the best I can. Uh, September's going to be an interesting month. It's going to be pretty busy. I get to see my really good friend. She lives in Hagerstown, so I'm going to be spending the weekend there, just catching up and everything. She's been my good friend for six years, and we've... She pretty much knows all the relationships I've been through and has helped me out, and she's an awesome and wonderful person. And she doesn't know how great of a person she is. I think she just she just uh, underestimates herself. So if you're watching this, you're awesome. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Despite the fact that you have kids, you are still awesome. And then um, that's the middle of September. September 21st, I'm going to be going to concert at Empire, which used to be the Jack's nightclub in Virginia. Have you seen an awesome assortment of European metal bands? I only know one, it's Tear. Actually, I'm really excited to see them. The other is Corplicani. I haven't heard of them, but they're finished, so I'll probably like them. Another one's Moon Sorrow. Um, can't remember another, the other band. And also Burning Shadows. It's actually a power metal band from Maryland, and they're very big Ice Earth fans, so that should be cool, because I'm a Ice Earth. And then the 28th, or the 29th, I'm going to be going to D.C. to hang out all day, all day there, go see the museums and whatnot, and uh, check out the video game museum. And that night, I'm going to be checking out my fanboy crush, Emily Autumn, who is a an amazingly wonderful person. She's very down to earth and sincere and she really loved her fans and the fact that I have a certain disability now, knowing that I, I actually have it and the fact that she writes about, you know, her problems and disabilities with herself and really speaks to people through her music is amazing and that's why I love her. She's a wonderful person and we definitely need more mu musicians like her to have people express the way they feel. 
very from moving around, trying to get comfortable. And it doesn't hurt the fact that she's very pretty, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, um, so yeah, this is the first video of, I don't know how many, but it's going to be a lot, uh, just about, yeah, pretty much every week, and if I miss a week, then every two weeks, but yeah, I'm going to try to make it every week. I'm also going to be working on getting down a routine for, uh, getting things done, because apparently I've been not really been truthful to myself, I just, it's hard for me to not get distracted by the computer, or video games, or women, especially women, so I'm going to make a routine, so that way I won't be stuck on the internet, or playing video games all day, so I can get things done, like, my drawing, I'm pretty good at drawing, I used to be really good, but it's been slipping ever since I haven't been able to practice as much. And um, I'm going to be working on my book, and then my fan fiction, which is Star Wars, because I'm a nerd. <laughs> and then, other than that, I should really go and get something to eat and finish putting away clothes, because I've been la laying around here because I've been lazy, and just worried about my brother. He had a mental breakdown, he's in the hospital, but he's getting to play the piano, lucky bastard. Doesn't make me want to do that just so I can play the piano, but it's pretty awesome that he's going to play the piano now. The odd hospital and let you play the piano. Oh, okay. And, um, yep. So I'll see everybody next week to update them on my intense spiritual journey of finding myself. And there was the doctor. Goodbye!